Yeah, guys, I just finished recording this video, but I'd like to quickly shout out T Zeppelli. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I've just done these Tottenham ratings. You might now about to see what I've witnessed. Fucking hell, mate. Um, enjoy this one. And like I said, you guys comment and I produce. You get me? It's 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 starting to become it's like it's like a family now. I'm enjoying con I'm enjoying interacting with you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um so there's a lot of comments of teams now. So they're all gonna come out on different days. I'm not gonna miss out any teams. Like I've seen I've seen Monten Gladbacks, I've seen Dortmunds, I've seen Cities. They're all gonna come out in the next couple of days. So you guys, I'm definitely interacting. Always comment and yeah, you man enjoy this video. Yo, I'm back again. And this time it's gonna be a Tottenham thing. And let me tell you this, yeah. This is gonna be the most interesting one in my opinion. Um, because I'm an Arsenal fan and I'm having to do Tottenham ratings as non-biased as possible. So let's see. Um, as you can see, they're with us in that Europa League um, right now. Their, their owner, as of now, I'll agree, his old, their owner does love the club. I think we've all seen that All or Nothing documentary. Um, he's looking well integrated with the team, not going to lie. But... This is just laughable. <laughs> just look look at this. I can't even say it's a decline. Because what have they what have they done? Like someone tell me what's this? Their highest finish is what second? That means you're the first loser. <laughs> you know the ones there since ninety nine, you know. This is nineteen ninety nine. Look at this. I can't believe we have to rival with this. We have to rival with this fam. Joke thing. But anyway, let's get into the team. Alright, so we're, doing, we're going from Joe Hart to Carlos Vinicius. So let's get it. Let's get it done. So first off, Joe Hart. Um, I know a lot of Tottenham fans didn't want this guy. In all honesty, his card, he's 33. His card for a backup is okay. For a backup is okay, but definitely not starting and you want him to be back up that first choice thing you don't want that to be true trust me um for his age 14 agility is really good as well like i said bear goalkeepers have a lot of strength so um i don't know what's going on with that he's six five as well but like i said back up not first choice he's back up next is hugo Lloris, the actual first choice um now Okay, he deserves a lot more reflexes, I'm not going to lie. Um, World Cup winner as well. Um, he's got really good agility for a 33-year-old. Um, 17 anticipation and 17 bravery, that's good as well. Um, this guy, I think he's the one that got caught drink driving. Um, so that's why he's probably had, he's got seven composure. Um, but in all honesty, this is a really good card. Like He's not someone to be playing out from the back, as you can see, but... He can save one-on-ones. He's good at shot-stopping. That's his strengths. His strengths are shot-stopping. But overall, three-star. And as a shot-stopper, he's really good as a shot-stopper. So that's Lloris. Next is Gazaniga, two-and-a-half-star. He would be my backup because, as you can see... Okay, cool. Um, overall, the card looks good overall, but... As a goalkeeper, the three things I look for is reflexes, agility, and one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, he's got 13 one-on-ones. So, that's not going to run, unfortunately. And he's a sweeper keeper, so he's going to be rushing out. Wait, where's his rushing out tendency? Actually, you know what? If you make him a goalkeeper defend, the one-on-ones won't be as regular. But then again, one-on-ones 13, that's not that great. I have to be real. So... He has to stay back up. Um, but he's definitely starting ahead of Joe Hart for me. I don't give a damn. Um, yeah, that's good reflexes though. And he's only 28, but two and a half star Gazaniga. Next, Alderweireld. As you can see, he's lost his legs. Not going to lie to you. He's either footed. That's really good as well. But 16 strength. Okay, that's actually a blessing. 16 strength. But then again, that acceleration and agility... That's that's him getting left behind, let's be real. He's going to get left and let's see. He looks like a good passer. 
Yeah, 15 passing, that's good for a centre-back, I'm not going to lie. He's three-star, so... Would you have given him elite or experience? I'm not going to lie. I'm an Arsenal fan, but... Over the years, he has to be elite. I'll be completely honest with you, he has to be elite. Um, 16 tackling is really good as well. Let me see the composure. 15 composure. Not going to lie, like I said, he's definitely ball-playing. Um, not one of those that are just straight, no-nonsense. He's definitely... Like good of the boy as you can see he can dribble as well that's actually really good not going to lie and he's either footed so to be honest that's a really good centre back card if you have someone fast next to him because like I said he's going to get absolutely left split like ridiculous so that's three star out of Virald. I have no clue who this guy is Joe Roden um, and for me I don't think he's that good because he's got 10 agility so, not only is he going to get left on the side-to-sides, 13 tackling for a centre-back is not great either. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to lie. He's not really someone that you should be putting in your team, especially with nine composure. He, he's looking like he's going to give a lot of penalties away, not going to lie. You can't even dribble out from the back. Even though it says he brings ball out of the fence, that's a whole heap of bullshit that must be in like the under-23s. Not not big man football. You can't be doing that at big man football. Like, if he gets pressed with nine composure and nine dribbling, he's going to lose the ball and give penalties away. So, keep him away from the team. Um, in terms of that's to- if that's what Tottenham's used to bring in, I'm looking forward because I'll cast them all because that is shit. That's a shit card. Um, yeah, that's a shit card still. Um, next, Tanganga. Rate him. Not going to lie. In real life, he's, he's a boss still. Um, I feel like that 13 tackling is a bit low. Not going to lie. Um, that might be a bit low, considering that they just threw him against Liverpool and he stood his ground. That's a bit too low, but as you can see, the physicals, they're on lock. Like, um, what's the lowest one? 13 agility for a centre-back, that's baseline. Like, that's baseline. And he's only 21, so he's going to improve. The tackling will improve if he's only 21, not going to lie to you. Um, that's not... He's not an actual... Yeah, 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 he's a centre-back. Yeah, 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 so... Like I said, he's only 21, so he's definitely going to improve. Um, looking forward to seeing what he can do. He's If you start a save, he's going to be injured, though. But definitely integrate him in that first team because he's going to improve. Look at that, and he's only 21. Nah, come on now, he's going to improve. He's got the pace. That's a lot. That's faster than a lot of strikers. He's 6'1", that's baseline height for a centre-back as well. Yeah, man, that's that's a decent, decent card. Um, next is Davinson Sanchez. Okay. He used to be so good. I don't know what happened to this guy. He's now two and a half star. Um, 15 acceleration, 15 pace. Again, that's another fast in the back. And this one's actually like proper strong as well. 16 strength is really good. He's 6'2". So that's a good height for a centre back. 14 work rate, but this pivot... To be fair, the pivot for a centre-back isn't too bad, but it just means that he's not going to be doing long passes. It's more he's good at the short passing, but it all comes down to the composure. So he's literally baseline for a centre-back in terms of passing. But overall, if I'm looking at the card, it's actually decent. I have to be honest, this card is actually decent. Like, he definitely can play with the ball. He can. Um, And... You don't need these stats right here for a centre-back. Especially if he's one that can't do off the ball but can do position. That means he's just not going to roam. That's all it means. So, to be fair, that's a good card. Um, let's do the next one. <clears throat> Doherty. I thought that was a really good signing. Um, he's three-star. But, as you can see, for a right-back, he's not the quickest. Not going to lie. 11 agility as well. <sighs> You're coming up against the likes of all these wingers like Salah, like the the Saint Maximans, the Zahas, and you've got eleven agility. That's toast. I'm not gonna lie, he's gonna get bun. I'm gonna be completely honest, he's gonna get absolutely split defensively. Like in terms of if there's space in behind as well, Lord have mercy. Um and the tackling's not that good as well. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Defensively, completely honest with you. I feel like he's going to get absolutely bun. Like, he's not even got, like, ridiculous height as well or ridiculous strength. So, I think defensively he'll get bun only considering that the physicals aren't that great, not going to lie. 
14 strength is all right though, but the physicals overall in terms of pace that's needed right now. Um, but credit where credit's due. 15 dribbling, that's really good as well. Um, and 14 crossing as well, that's really good. And he's composed, so typical Jose kind of guy because he's like typical 7 out of 10. That's what you're going to get from a minimum every match, 7 out of 10. That's what you get from someone like Doherty. Um, three star, that's actually a blessing. That's a blessing still, three star. Um, all right. I'm not going to lie, that's a really good card, not going to lie to you. Um, next one. Aurier. Oh, wow. He's still at this Tottenham team. Wow, he survived this long. Okay, um, okay, you're going to see. That's that's a problem, I'm not going to lie. Um, the, these physicals, for someone like Aurier, I wasn't expecting this. That's that's a bit shocking, I'm not going to lie. Um, 14 pace for Aurier. I thought he would be way faster. And the strength as well. He looks like proper hench, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, 15 natural fitness, 14 balance, and 13 agility. Yeah, that's probably because of his age, not going to lie. Um, it's not looking too good in terms of physicals. It's not looking too good. Um, 16 work rate, that's actually really good. Um, 16 off the ball as well, and he can do the positioning. So, uh, yeah, you know, he can stand his ground defensively. He can. He's even got composure. Can he pass the ball? He can. Not far, but he can pass. His technicals, bare minimum. Bare minimum technicals. Um, and he's got a good first touch. Not going to lie. That's literally just okay. That's okay. He's okay. That's where I'll put him. He's okay. Um, two and a half star. That's all right. Next is Eric Dyer. This lumpy porridge baller. Um, he's either footed. Okay. 10 agility problem. That's a problem. Not going to lie to you. 10 agility is a problem. You're just going to get left. Um, I don't call people fridges. I'm not going to call him a fridge, but I can see why people call him a fridge. Um, 10 agility, but 14 pace. So that's 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 a bit mad. Not going to lie. 14 pace for from, from who? For, for Eric Dyer, 14 pace. Wow. Only 15 strength. That should be higher. Let's be honest. That should be higher. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm being as non-biased as I possibly can. 16 aggression. That's deserved. He's brave as well. And he's determined to win the ball. He can clearly win the ball. 16 tackling. That's really good. 14 passing. 13 technique. 12 vision. That pivot's decent for a centre-back. Or slash DM. So, yeah, he has to be able to play with ball. 14 passing, yeah, 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 yeah. He can definitely play with the ball. Um, 15 marking, that's good as well. 16 heading, and he's 6 foot 2, 13 jumping reach. That's baseline. That's baseline still. Um, overall, though, for a centre back, I'm not going to lie, if he had more agility, that's amazing. But the problem is that agility, man, it's letting the whole thing down. I'm not going to lie, the agility. He's letting it all down. And he's either footed as well. And he's only 26. Um, Yeah, overall. Uh, okay, I'm going to be honest. It's good. But the agility is letting him down. That's it. That's literally it. That's literally it. But he's free star. That's Eric Dyer. Next is Danny Rose. He's been disrespected. He has been disrespected. <laughs> Once said the club no longer require his services. That's disrespectful, man. Like, are you missing anything though? He's 30. He's not the fastest. Um, not the strongest. That's baseline strength. Not the fastest. Um, his technicals, as you can see, I mean, not technical, his mentals are okay. They're okay still. They're okay. Not going to lie. They're not bad. His mentals are not bad. He's brave and he's quite aggressive. Um, Composure, once again, is baseline. But a lot of his stats are just baseline. And the problem with having bare baseline stats at this age is that only one thing's going to happen. It's going to go down. So, but 15 tackling, that's really good. Um, For someone like him, that's really good. 
He's got 11 finishing. That's definitely for the goal he scored against Arsenal. You're taking the piss. You're taking the piss. That's for the goal he scored against Arsenal. Let's be real. And the long shot. Yeah, that's definitely for the one he scored against us. You're taking the absolute piss, mate. Um, maybe the crossing should be a bit higher as well. But overall, it's a dusty card. I'm not going to lie. That's that's a bit shocking. Um, take away the tackling and it's a dead card. I have to be completely honest. He's just baseline. Like That's one of those 6 out of 10s that you're going to get from him. Not even a 7, just a 6. Like He's one of them ones that can do everything but just not good not good at doing everything um, and he's 30 so that's a problem next Ben Davies um, oh wait I clicked on him again Lord of Mercy Ben Davies okay what is it with these slow fullbacks man flipping hell don't you realise that you're coming up against men like Saint Maximum that are going to give you new skin fam like, this guy's literally going to take your skin off and give you a new one that's how bad he's going to skin you so with 12 pace, 13 agility and 13 acceleration, only Lord have mercy. Only Lord have mercy, I'm not going to lie. It's one of the, it's a, it's another it's another scenario where the physicals, he's literally just got the strength, but it's another scenario where the physicals let down the other stats because let's say if he had pace, that's a really good card, but the problem is you might as well play someone like this in midfield in like a lower league team because he can do everything else. Like, he's even got a good pivot. He's good with the ball. So, they, these guys put midfielders at left back and right back. That's what I'm seeing. Like, look at him. He can literally do everything. Like, the concentration, we don't care about that too much. But composure, that's baseline again. These guys are just baseline that can do everything. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But with this physical that you're coming up against, like I said, these St. Maximans and these Zahas, you're going to get absolutely toasted. It's peak. You're going to get touched and it's going to be absolutely hilarious when it happens as well. Um, three star though. That's that's a blessing again. Three star. Oh man, they want to get into the, the actual problems. For example, the first problem is Regulon. Regulon is cold. I have to be real. Regulon is cold. This Regulon guy, if if they um, what's it called, what's it called? Um, if they update it, that has to be sixteen minimum. That has to be sixteen minimum. Seventeen, seventeen. Like I don't really know about the strength, but pace. He's too quick, and he's three and a half star already, and he's only twenty three. Lord have mercy. Seventeen work rate definitely deserved. He can even tackle. So, fourteen passing. 13 technique, 13 vision. So not only can he play the ball well, he can carry it well as well. 14 dribbling for a left back, that's really good. And he's got the pace to back him up. And his mentals, he can do everything mentally. And he's only 23. Come on, that's a problem. That's a problem, I'll be completely honest. That's a problem. Like, he's going to get better. Imagine him getting better. You're going to see a lot more greens and it's going to be a problem. This guy, he's amazing. Especially in real life. But in the game, I know he's going to be amazing. I can tell. I know a baller when I see one. This guy's a baller. That's regular. Um, next, Hoiberg. Wow. He's actually really good. One of those ones where I look at the agility, but because he's a midfielder and he's probably going to be surrounded by people with legs so it's not going to be too much of a problem but in all honesty he he's actually cold like let's look at it quickly 16 strength 17 stamina 16 natural fitness 16 balance they're doing that whole agility balance thing but i'll let it slide this time 17 aggression so you can already tell this guy's a bastard fam <laughs> like he's a bastard isn't it um 18 work rate as well 15 vision so you're telling me he can actually see what he's doing now so he can play ball but the passing kind of lets him down I haven't really seen that before someone that can see but can't actually do what's that wow so he actually can't um, make the pass but he can see the pass that's, that's a bit of a problem not going to lie but he's got the technical ability for someone like him I didn't expect it like I'm being surprised right now um, the mentals are really good like I said 18 work rate 17 teamwork um, 14 off the ball 16 determination 
12 concentration, 14 composure, 15 bravery, 17 aggression. That's that's amazing, I have to be real. He can even shoot. Maybe not from far, but at least he can get in the box and score. That's all you really need. And he's only 24. He looks, if you know what he looks like in real life, he looks a lot older, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, overall though, you can put him anywhere and he'll get a job done. So that's really, that's really promising. Um, you know what? I like this card, I have to be real, I like this card, um, that's a really good card, three stars, well, next, Harry Winks, um, first looks at the card, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like it, I'll be real, personally, I don't really like it, um, he's one of those guys that, it looks like he's just a short passer, that's what it looks like. So he's not really going to make the defensive splitting pass. And actually, you know what? That could be a good thing in some systems. But overall, I'm going to be doing it overall. So overall, it's actually not bad overall. Um, physicals, he can't. He just can't jump. That's it. Um, he can do pretty much anything else. Maybe not good at it, but at least he can do it. Um, 16 composure as well. That's really good. 15 passing, 15 technique. I'm going to look at that quickly. Um, so, yeah, he can pass. Um, the thing is, can he pass from distance? Depending on your system, um, you'll find out, innit? <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Um, that's 12 vision, so that's the only reason why I'm saying that. 16 team as well, so you already know. Um, 14 determination. He's not really going to do skills too much. As you can see, 13 dribbling. So... Um, 15 first touch, this guy, um, what's his work rate again, 15, ooh, I'm getting a couple vibes from him that he's going to give like, how can I say, 6 out of 10s, but one of the consistent ones though, like that's what I mean, not on a disrespectful thing, I'm saying like he's going to be consistent, but not like every every once in a while put in like an 8, but consistently 6s, that's what I'm seeing from Winks, so 3 star as well, wow, they're just dishing out free stars to these Tottenham bastards. I don't know why. Um, anyway, next, Indombele. If I don't see minimum 17 flair on this guy and you're giving 17 to people like Fernandez, there's a problem. And I'm an I'm a Arsenal fan and I'm saying this. So you man can back me. You man can back me. Let's see. I'm going to let that one sit for a couple seconds. <laughs> They've given Indombele 15 flair, but the likes of Bruno Fernandes 17. I'm just going to let you sit with those words for a minute. The disrespect, fam. How disrespectful can you be? How disrespectful can you be to this guy? I actually like this Indombele guy, you know. Like, I can genuinely say, when, I, when Tottenham bought him, I was worried. And I don't say that for a lot of Tottenham players, but when they bought him, I was worried because I know what he can offer. Like, that work rate last season was 16 minimum. I know it was. But because Sky Sports were battering him for not running and that, they've put it down to 12. Like, these guys, man. Um, three and a half star again. That's really good. And you can see why. Um, let's get into the card. 17 balance. So you already know. You're not knocking him off the ball that easily because he's got 16 strength as well to back it up. Problem in the midfield, these are the legs that I was talking about 15 acceleration and 15 pace. Put that next to Hoiberg, and it's a problem in the midfield, not gonna lie. He even knocks the ball past the opponent in the midfield. So you already know what you're gonna get. He's gonna be a sick ball carrier because he's got 16 dribbling, 16 first touch, 16 techniques, 16 passing, 17 vision. Are you dumb? Silky baller, silky baller, absolutely silky, filthy disgusting fam how can you be able to dribble and distribute the ball that's that's just disrespectful man like in a good way if you don't get my slang like he's, he's nuts he's crazy like he's amazing he's amazing that's what I'm trying to tell you he's amazing and he can win the ball as well why not why not mate why not you might as well 16 determination which means he's willing to give it to you as well but the problem with this card is the flair that should be one of his highest stats, I'm not going to lie. Um, if you're a Tottenham fan, um, 
you can definitely agree with me on that one. He's definitely given too much low flair, man. Um, but yeah, overall, sick card. Absolutely amazing card. Um, like I said, the flair's the only thing that's disrespecting him. But that's even good. Like, for in-game, he'll still do tricks because it's 15. But for what it should be, it's a disappointment. So yeah, you guys, comment below. You already know. I'm going to respond to all of them. Um, so next... Um, Los Celso. Bula. Again, another sick midfielder. Another three and a half star midfielder who can do everything and he can do it good as well. Um, apart from like the physicals. But then again, if you're a silky Bula, you don't need to be physical. Not everybody's in Dombele, not everybody's Pogba to be having physicals and silk. You don't need that. You don't actually need the physicals. So, um,. I'll allow him for not being like mad strong or mad fast. You don't need it. 16 anticipation, you need that. And the composure too. Good teamwork. He's got the pivot of 16, 16 technique, 15 vision, 16 passing. That's really good as well. 13 tackling. That's amazing. I'm lying, I'm lying. Um, for him, that's amazing. I didn't know he could tackle. Like, I didn't know someone like him could tackle. Um, I got like a lot of flary vibes from this guy so the fact that he can tackle that's surprising I'm not going to lie 15 flair again I wouldn't give him the same as Ndombele if you're a Tottenham fan who do you think deserves more flair um because I definitely know Ndombele does not saying that he's not flary I'm not saying that I'm just saying like in terms of both of them Ndombele definitely has better flair um good determination good decisions as well um overall 15 dribbling, that might be too low. Not going to lie. That might be too low. But overall, that's amazing. That's a ama that's an amazing card. Imagine a midfield three of um, Indombele, Hoiberg and Lo Celso. That's silky. Not going to lie, that is silky. They've even got Sissoko. I forgot all about this guy. Minimum 17 strength. Wow. Wow, he's only got 16 strength. Wow. So, Sizoko, I'm not going to lie, 16 strength, that is disrespectful. I'm not going to lie. Um, we all know he's way stronger than that. We all know Sizoko is stronger than 16. Um, 17 stamina, that's deserved. 13 pace. I think he's faster than that as well. I think he's faster than that. And he's got the balance. Um, physicals are phenomenal. Next, work rate. Um, you know what you're going to get from him. Um, he works... He, he, he's probably the hardest worker on the pitch um, that's what I see in real life not going to lie um, 18 work rates definitely deserve might as well have given him 19 or something because he works really hard um, 17 teamwork um, I'm just looking at the pivot quickly he's not really good with the ball um, he's not one of those techie silky ballers he's more industrious so that's probably not his game. Yeah, he's definitely a box to box, but you don't. You just tell him like, just give it quick to the left or to the right. Just don't like pass forward because you, you you can't. You actually can't pass forward. Your technique is eleven. There's centre backs better. There's goalkeepers with better technique than this guy. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's a bit mad still. Um, from what I'm seeing though, he can do everything, but the only thing letting him down here is the fact that he can't really pass the ball. That's it. Because if you imagine if this guy had like 16 techniques, 16 passing, 15 vision or something like that. That's that's an amazing, amazing card. But unfortunately, he can't pass. So and as we all know, he can't shoot. So that's a bit generous. If you're gonna give him ten long shots, you might as well give him ten finishing. You might as well. Um free star though. Once again, dishing out the free stars to these Tottenham bastards. Um, once again, I am an Arsenal fan. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of beating non bias here. Not going to lie. I'm doing a pretty good job. Um, but yeah, that's a good card still. That's a good card. Take away um, the passing. That's a good card. Next is... Uh, I don't know how these... I don't know how these men managed to get him, you know. I'm not going to lie. When, when I saw this guy hold up the shirt... I thought it was a Photoshop, not going to lie to you. Then I see it on Sky Sports and that. And then, yeah, um, 
problem. <laughs> I don't care if he's got 13 acceleration. I don't care. I don't care. Um, okay. I'm I'm just looking at the um card quickly before I even speak about it. Um I've been shocked by this ten composure thing. Um I'm not gonna let my bias kick in. I'm not gonna let it kick in. Um but ten composure. That's a bit mad, I'm not gonna lie. For someone that's elite and world class, ten composure. If you've seen Bell, is he composed? Because I don't think I've seen him play like live for a very long time. Um he has to be composed. He can't have 10 composure. That, that, that must be ridiculous. He's three and a half star though. Um, but yeah, let's get into the stats. Lord have mercy. 13 acceleration, 12 agility. Now, someone like Bill, he's on inverted winger. You put him inside forward because he hasn't really got the um, pace to beat a man. And as you can see, his dribbling isn't phenomenal anymore. Not anymore. Um... But he's got 17 flair, what the hell? That don't make sense. Um, but yeah, put him inside forward. This is why. He's got 16 pace, so it's going to take him a while to get to that 16 pace. But he's got that 16 pace. He's also got 16 strength as well. So these are like good stat striker stats, yeah? So what you do, you put him in the middle. Man's got 17 finishing. See now, if you've got 17 finishing... You're automatically a problem. <laughs> you're automatically a problem. I'm not even taking to the account like the the 19 long shots. Let's let's get there. Let's get there when when that happens. Your time will come. But 17 finishing, fam. I'm not gonna lie. That's a, that's 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 blood. Um, them goalkeepers there, blood. Um, if I was to do a minimum goals per season, minimum minimum. 15 in the league minimum 15 definitely bail come on it's bail <laughs> just fuck it it's bail in it 16 technique you don't lose your technical ability some of these stats are blame zidane i'm not gonna lie some of these stats are definitely blame zidane um yeah um 14 passing that's decent as well like i said 19 long shots like you might as well tell him to shoot from distance or shoot um more often you might as well. You've got nothing to lose. Now, this is why you should be playing him striker. He's six foot one. I mean, not striker, inside forward. He's six foot one, 15 jumping reach, 18 heading. Blood. 18 heading, fam. Name me another winger that's got that heading. Because I don't think you'll be able to name me another one. We all know Bale hits them top bins like Beckham. We all know he does as well. Um, 16 crossing. So not only is he going to bang it in. Not only is he going to. Not only is he going to bang it in from far. Not only is he going to jump. Over a couple of centre backs. And head it in with accuracy. He can also get assists. Because he's got the crossing. And the passing. And the technique. And baseline vision. I'm not taking into account the work rate. Because. He's 31. So, those days are over. He's 31. But, like I said, this card is amazing. Only thing letting him down in-game is 10 composure, 10 concentration. If you're a Tottenham fan, or if you've watched Real Madrid, tell me, is he composed or not? Because I have no clue. Um, I actually don't know if he deserves that or not. But, yeah, three and a half star. That's Gareth Bale. Mad thing. Next, Lucas Moura. Wow, he's gotten slower. To be fair, he's 27, but we know a lot of older attackers, for example, Bamiang, not comparing their pace at all, but I'm saying, like, you can keep your pace at these ages. Like, maybe it's because he's not been playing or something, but has he actually gotten faster? Has injury made him get a little bit slower? I mean, not fuck, blood. Has he actually gotten slower? Is it because of injuries or is it just him? Um, overall... I'm looking at it and I'm not really too like he's got good dribbling and good pace and that but in terms of end product it's looking like a eight goal kind of guy like he can't really he's one he's one he's one, a, lot, a lot of mercy he's another one of those guys yeah that are gonna 
do like what you ask them, but it might not be good. That's what I'm saying. Cause 12 composure, like 13 finishing, 13 passing, 13 technique. These, these stats are everywhere. So he can do them, but he just can't do them well. <laughs> it's one of those ones. So he's looking at someone you're gonna have to give bare service to so that he can thrive. And in a system like Tottenham, he's holding bench. And when he does play, I don't think he's gonna be clinical enough. He's 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 literally looking a bit useless to me right now, not gonna lie. Um they you don't need him in this team. And from what I'm seeing, he's he's a bit I'm not gonna say shit, but he's not great. That's Lucas Mora. Free star, free star. They're dishing them out. They're dishing them out. They're dishing out the free stars. This is ridiculous. Oh if only they did this with Arsenal, man. If only. Deli Ali's three and a half star. Fam. Deli Ali. This guy. This guy is three and a half star. Him. Don't get it wrong. In football manager, he's amazing. But aren't these stats meant to be based on their real life performances? Come on now. I mean, I'll allow him with the flair, the composure, the anticipation, but. We all know he does not have full team work rate. We all know this. We all know he doesn't have full team work rate, man. That's that's a that's a mockery of the thing. Not gonna lie. He's got sixteen dribbling. Not saying he can't dribble, but don't you think that's a bit on the high side? Fifteen finishing for a cam. I thought he would be a natural shadow striker, but apparently he's a cam. Um but 15 finishing, that's mad, not going to lie. Um, but yeah, let's get into it quickly. 14 agility, 17 stamina, 18 natural fitness. Give him a bit more strength as well, not going to lie to you. Um, 17 flair, um, that's probably because he's a cocky bastard. That Deli Ali bastard. Um, 15 vision, 14 passing, 15 technique. That's a decent pivot, blood. That's a decent pivot. My, my speech is moving mad today, I'm not going to lie. Um... Maybe because it's Tottenham. You never know. It's a bit spursy. Um, 16 composure, like I said, that's that's really good. Um, you've got good anticipation as well. 11 heading. Overall, that's a good card in-game. I have to be real. They've niced him here. They've niced him once again. Another high rating for another Tottenham player. It's not looking, it's not looking good for us. Not going to lie. Next, Steven Bergwijn. Um... He's, oh, he's he's looking a bit reminiscent to Mora now. He's just one of those guys that are good for depth. That's what it's looking like. Because you're not gonna start him. You can't start this. Look how much service you're gonna you're gonna have to give him for him to do anything well. Like, once again, he's someone that can do everything, but just not good. For example, he can shoot, but he's not clinical. He can pass, but he's not good at passing. He's got good vision, but it's not brilliant vision. He's fast, but not explosive, like lightning. Like 15 acceleration, 15 pace, that's bare minimum um, for a pacey winger. 16 flair, that's, that's literally his only green. That's his only green stat. So you can see what I mean. The only thing I can take into account that he's only 22 and these stats could improve. If you play him week in, week out, which I don't think you're going to do, because if I show you the next wingers that I'm about to show you. <sighs> okay, let's get into it, man. Fucking hell, that son bastard. Flipping hell, guys. <sighs> let's go. Blood. It's four star. It's game over. It's fucking game over, mate. Minimum 20 goals, minimum 20 goals. Because he's never been good in football manager before. He's had good stats, but he's never been good in game. Now he's going to be good in game. Do you want me to tell you why? Do you want me to tell you why he's going to be good in game? I'll tell you why he's going to be good in game. For the first time, I've seen Son Hung Min be four star. Not only first time I've been seeing him be four star, he's got the same finishing as the likes of Lewandowski, the likes of flipping Salah. 
the elite of the elite better finish in the Aubameyang. Better finish in the Aubameyang, you know. Better finish in the Aubameyang, you know. Better finish in the Aubameyang, fam. Blood. Let's get into it. We all know he's either for it. I will allow him. We all know he's either for it. Um, he deserves that. 15 acceleration, 15 pace. They didn't see the goal against Burnley. Not going to lie. He's got a lot more pace than 15. 16 stamina, 16 natural fitness. All right. He is very composed. Like I said, that goal against Burnley, I think it was where he just ran through their whole thing. You need composure to be able to finish that off. Finish that off. 17 off the ball. His off the ball movement is ridiculous. Um, absolutely ridiculous. 17 work rate. Deserved 17 technique, 16 long shots. The dribbling should be higher as well. Why not? It should be anyway. I'm an Arsenal fan, and I'm being honest here. His, his dribbling should be a bit higher, but 18 finishing. My flipping god, like you could play him right wing, left wing, striker. He's gonna get minimum 20 goals, 18 finishing. And it's not like it's not gonna be just him getting created chances, like Kane. Like what they do in real life where Kane just hits a long ball, then he'll duck it down and get bare goals off that. Like he can create his own chances as well. He's got the composure and the dribbling and the finishing to create his own chances and the long shots as well. This card is peak. I'm not going to lie. This card is peak fam. It's peak. Like maybe his determination should be a bit higher, but and the flair as well. You're going to give a man like Bruno Fernandes better flair than flipping son. Don't take the piss. Um, and strength too. Not going to lie. He's not weak. He's not stu- He's not super strong, but he's not weak. But once again, that finishing boy. It's game over, man. It's game over. Next, Lamella. Um, the only thing I can do, I can think of that he's done that's actually good for the scene is get Martial sent off. Um, when they absolutely... I can't even say the words that they did to them. That's six one. Um apart from that, I haven't really seen too much of Lamella, not gonna lie. Um first thing I'm seeing eleven finishing. That just puts me off this guy because you're an attacker. And I get it. You've got the you your pivot is amazing. So why not play him Cam? Let me let me make my case to why you should be playing Lamella Cam. Because I'm being honest. His card's amazing. Why is his card so good? What the fuck? Hey, his card's amazing, you know. His card's amazing. What am I seeing, fam? And he's three star as well. Don't put him out wide. Don't waste your time. He's not even fast. Don't waste your time. Put him in the middle. Let me tell you why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down. Look at that pivot of fifteen passing, sixteen technique, sixteen vision. Cool. He's got work rate of 19. Teamwork, that's good. Off the ball, 14 as well. That's also good. He's got 17 flair. And 17 determination. So not only is he going to bruck you with that 15 dribbling. Not only is he going to make these defensive splitting passes, yeah? He's willing to do it, fam. He's willing to do it. And he's got the composure as well. He's got the composure to back it all up. And he's aggressive. Fam? I'm I'm shocked at how good this guy is. You're telling me, if you're a Tottenham fan once again, if you're any fan that watches Tottenham, you're telling me man like Lamella does more skills than Indombele. Fam, there's a problem here. There's a problem. I'm not going to lie. There's a problem. There's a problem. There's definitely a problem. Um, He's left only. Don't really look at the left onlys and right onlys. I usually look at that either for it. But overall, as a cam, that's an amazing card. I don't know how they've managed to do this, you know. I don't know how they've managed to make this card so good. But as a cam, that is phenomenal. As a cam, that is a phenomenal card. I'm going to be completely honest. As a cam, that's phenomenal. Um, as a cam, Vlad, phenomenal. Three star, Lamella. I'm going to leave Harry Kane till last. 
I'm going to leave him till last. We're going to go to Carlos Vinicius. Wow. He's 6'4". He didn't even look tall when I saw him. He didn't even look tall. He's 6'4". Fam, you learn something new every day, innit? But him being 6'4 and he's 25, 15 jumping reach. Eight, whoa, 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 whoa. He's got eight heading, but you're six foot four and you've got 15 jumping reach and you've got eight heading. Give your height to Bale, Bale or something. Give your height to someone that can actually head the ball. You're, you're useless at this height, I'm not going to lie. Why are you this tall? You're just literally... Like someone, someone back me on this one. Why is this heading so bad? Surely this guy can head the ball. Surely it can't be that bad. You're giving a man six foot four, fifteen jumping reach, eight heading. This I'm I, I have to I haven't I've have never seen this guy play, but I'm gonna have to say the game got this one wrong. Unless they're actually like genuine, like he actually can't header, like he's never scored a header or anything. Cause eight heading. That's ridiculous, I'm not going to lie. But let's get into the cards. 17 strength, that's amazing. 14 pace for someone that's 6'4 as well, that's amazing. But you can see this is why he's 6'4, because he can't flip it, move left to right. And he can't get to his sprint speed that quick as well. Um, 13 team, these don't really matter as a striker. Um, he's composed, so you need that. And he's got finishing. So I'm getting some vibes that he's just tall, but... A normal striker, but he's just tall. That's what vibes I'm getting. Um, can you link off him? To be fair, his pivot would be really good if he could pass. But his passing's 11, so the, he's letting the pivot down with that passing, not going to lie. Got decent long shots as well for a striker. But overall, this is a very confusing card. I'm not going to lie. This is very confusing. It's almost laughable. He's three star. Once again, dishing out the three stars. How many three stars have I seen today? Flipping hell. Um, but that's Carlos Vinicius. Um, mad. Um, I'm I'm just surprised at what I'm seeing here. Not gonna lie. Wow, eight heading, you know. But yeah, this is the main man that you guys have been waiting for, Harry Kane. Um, I'm gonna get pissed off. Um, but like I said, I'm being as non-biased as I possibly can. So this is a bit hard for me. You guys, you have to allow me. Um, I'm okay. Once again, non bias. Okay, 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 That silence was needed. That silence was needed. Guys, where do I start? I f I'm so tempted to end the video here. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to end the video right here. Oh my God. Fam. <laughs> Yo, he's four and a half star. So he's at the elite of the elite. As we know. He's a brilliant striker, but okay. Let me just get into the cards. Oh, why do I do this, man? <laughs> this this is embarrassing, man. This is just embarrassing. He's better than everyone in my team. But but by far though, by far, by far, that's the problem. It's not even like it's close. If you put Aubameyang and Lacazette together, he's still better. He's still got better stats. Still, let's get into it. Either footed, 13 acceleration, 12 agility, 13 balance, 13 jumping reach. We, we don't really care about that right now. 15 natural fitness, 17 stamina, 14 strength. That might be a bit too low, not going to lie. As I said, he's either footed. For someone like him, I'm not surprised. Okay, deep breaths. <clears throat> 18 work rate. 18 vision 
18 passing and 16 technique. He's got a better pivot. The pivot that I always bring out at all cost for, for creative players and cams. He's got one of the best pivots in the game. 16 technique, 18 vision, 18 passing. Fam, like I said, he can watch his kids at home. I said that one with like, I don't even know I said that for. That was probably messy or something. His, 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 his pivot is messy level. That's, that's world class. That's a world class pivot. For a striker as well, that's world class. 18 teamwork, 16 off the ball, 19 determination, 16 decisions, 18 composure, 16 bravery, 16 anticipation. He can cross for fucking what? Why can he cross? Why? Why do you need to make him be able to cross? If you're going to make someone's stats updated, why do you have to do it for only these type of players? But for other players that have had better like I'm not going to say they're better than Kane at all. I'm not saying that. But there's many other players who's, who I feel whose stats aren't updated the way that this guy's stats are. These are looking like informed stats, bruv. You know that like FIFA inform when they boost stats. That's what it's looking like. And it's not going to go down. It's only 26. Fucking hell. 19 finishing. That's, apart from Messi, that's the highest I've ever seen. Better finishing than Lewandowski, than Salah, than Aubameyang, than flipping. I don't even know. Um, firm, I don't even know, like. 14 first touch, you might as well make that 20 as well. Fuck it, why not? It's Kane anyway. He's gonna he's gonna do it all. Well done, well done. You know what? Well done. Well done. He deserves this, man. He deserves this. He deserves this. I'm not gonna lie. Value that 80 million and he's 26. Fucking now. 16 long shots. Fam. I'm not gonna lie, this one's killed me. This one has killed me. Um This this is one of the best cards I've ever seen in my life. Um <laughs> This is one of the best cards I've ever seen in my life. You might as well have put Iron Willed. Iron Willed. If you know about Iron Willed, Iron Willed. Elite striker now is Iron Willed. 18 fam for a striker? When I say people are gonna get minimum this or minimum that, I can literally say he can get minimum assists of 20 and minimum goals of 20. I can say that and no one can call me up on it either. I can actually say that and get away with it. And that's in the Premier League. Only Lord have mercy if he was to go to another league. Only Lord have mercy. Keep him in this league. Don't let him go anywhere else. Because he will be the best of the best. He will get 40 goals, 50 goals a season. Fam, game over. Game over. I'm ending the video right here. I don't give a flying fam. I'm ending the video right here. Guys. As you can see, let me let me just quickly double check. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. Hold on. His name is T Zeppelli. That's the guy that recommended me to do this video. Shout out your damn self. Big up yourself for this one. My lord. Big up yourself, T Zeppelli. Um, blood. Um, I'm I'm ending the video here. Um, a lot of you guys have been commenting saying different teams that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all of them. I'm going to go through in order of when they were commented. I might get a couple wrong um, in the order, but I'm going to get all of them done. That's what matters anyway. Um, for example, tomorrow, um, the likes of Dortmund will get covered as well. A fan asked me to do that. We're going to see. We're going to see. Um, like I said, this is a community for Football Manager, and I love it. I love this. I love the interactions. I absolutely love them. I love them. So we're going to do that. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'll be back. Um... Dortmund and maybe another one if, if I'm feeling cheeky but yeah you guys I'll see you later